Uh, he asked about um, what we have done as, as government in terms of our ethical considerations, what exactly have we done? And secondly, he then asked about um, what we can then be able to do in terms of our data privacy. I think in a nutshell, that's what you have asked. And um, I, I really want to ask you in terms of that. Definitely, we need to promote transparency you know, for us to be quite effective in the adoption of artificial intelligence. And what we have done as government in terms of data privacy, we have got, uh, uh, currently we have uh, our Cyber and Data Protection Act, uh, which we believe we are now uh, coming up with an ICT strategy, which we have done as, a, as government. So this is going to outlay what we need to do in terms of making sure that at least uh, we have got the requisite infrastructure for us to to, to, to make sure we are, we are protected as, 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 as a country. Uh, secondly, we also need to invest uh, in terms of our, our, our skill set. It's a matter of us being able to upskill, reskill, and skill our workforce as government. And we need, again, to, to also work towards um, just making sure that we create a lot of awareness. This is quite important so that at least we, we, we are very much um, are geared up in terms of the data privacy. Then in terms of the AI applications and the ethical use, definitely we can never be able to create uh, any policy which does not speak to our own Zimbabwe. We need to couch whatever it is that we need to come up with in line with our own context, with our own cultural our perspective, uh, look at what we do as Zimbabweans, which also suits to us. I remember at one point in time, we had um, 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 Elon Musk saying that he's going to create robots, uh, robots that will be producing babies. And this was quite a scare for a lot of people in Zimbabwe. So this is where we need to come up from. If we're talking about ethical considerations, definitely as Zimbabwe, we need to create an AI policy, which is in line with our own context as Zimbabwe. When we say, the same with artificial intelligence, it has to be built within our own context as Zimbabwe. So all I can say is definitely, um, plans are underway. The RAM report is going to inform us as we come up with our artificial intelligence strategy. It is going to inform us in terms of uh, uh, the economic, like what we, we said, that we've got the economic uh, issues that need to be addressed, the educational issues, how do we need to increase in terms of our human capital, uh, the infrastructure, where are we lagging behind, what needs to be done, if it needs us to invest in our in our data centers, it needs us to also invest uh, even in, 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 in at least a robust uh, uh, co co computer uh, co co computer specifications. So all I can say is definitely as Zimbabwe, we are geared up and we are happy that uh, we were selected as part of the top six countries uh, in, in, uh, by, by, the UNE by UNESCO. And we are happy that at least as Zimbabwe, we are, we are ready to go. We have been approved to be able to, we've been assessed and approved that at least we are ready for us to adopt artificial intelligence. So all we need to do is just to make sure that we're in line with all the scientific uh, regulations, social cultural regulations, all that so that at least we are aligned. I so submit. Thank you.